located 45 kilometers southeast of the downtown of Tianshui, Meiji Mountain gets its name from its giant, haystack-like shape. The mountain's fame arises not just from its appearance, but from the many Buddhist. The Meiji Mountain Grottoes is the fourth largest area of concentrated Buddhist grottoes in China, after Dunhuang, Datong and Luoyang. The mountain, studded with caves and strapped by many winding walkways and spiral stairs, for people to closely see clay sculptures in these caves. On arrival at the site, the most prominent sculpture is the 16M Buddha, that is carved high up on the mountain. The grottoes, all packed together on the sheer, rocky cliff faces below and above this. On ascending the mountain, the grottoes are divided into two sections, the western and eastern, since the central section was almost completely destroyed by an 8th century earthquake. The western section is probably the better. Just ascending the mountain, unwinding, rickety walkways and spiral stairs, with the wooded mountain panorama below, is a breath of fresh air for even the most unconvinced China traveler. Inside the caves are clay statues, whose heights vary from 20 centimeters to 15 meters. These statues are works of art, that reflect ancient craftsmanship and dedication to the Buddhist ideal. Rarely can one find caves and statues carved over sheer cliffs in China, and this is one of the most distinguishing features of Meiji caves. Work on the Meiji mountain grottoes began in the late Qin dynasty from 221 BC to 206 BC, progressing through to the Qing Dynasty, from 1644 to 1911. The Northern Wei period, from 386 to 534, was a time of its great prosperity, and Buddhism began to prevail as a cultural force. Subsequent dynasties added to, and sometimes rebuilt the caves, according to the styles of the era.